Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will make a circuit, a flyback controller circuit. Here I have a flyback. If you don't know what it is, well, it is a specially designed transformer to produce very high voltages on the order of 30,000 volts or less, between 10 and 30,000 volts. This component was widely used in the old TV sets, the big TVs with the cathodic ray tube, because this tube needs this kind of very high voltages that this component can produce. The thick red wire is the positive high voltage output, and the negative is one of the pins here at the bottom. You can see that there are a lot of pins, that's because the transformer produces a different range of voltages in addition to the main high voltage output and also we have two pins that are the primary of the transformer uh, this type of transformer works similarly but not equal to a traditional transformer you feed the transformer with a low voltage on the primary and in the secondary you get a higher voltage however I am not using the internal primary of the transformer because this primary requires a voltage on the order of 100 volts. It is better to wind your own primary. As you can see here, there is this coil which has uh, seven turns of wire wound directly on the ferrite core of the transformer. Winding your own primary lets you to use lower primary voltages. You can use from 5 volts up to 10 or 15 volts at the input. And also, you do not use AC current to fed the transformer. This type of transformer needs chopped DC voltage. That is, you need DC voltage that is a train of rectangular waves. In order to obtain a rectangular pulse output for the primary, I'm going to use this module, which is a PWM generator. I have used this in previous videos and it's perfect for this application. You can select the frequency and also the duty cycle. We need to add a MOSFET to the output because the output of the module has a maximum current of 30 milliamps, which is very low. In order to fed the primary of the flyback, we need a minimum of 2 or 3 amps, even more. So I am using the MOSFET to obtain a higher current at the output. Here's the circuit, super simple as you can see. This is the output of the PWM generator, rectangular pulse of waves, that is fed to the MOSFET via this 10 ohm resistor. I am using an IRF C44 MOSFET, but you can use any power MOSFET N channel. And it is fed with 5 to 10 volts DC. And here we connect the primary that we want on the core of the transformer very simple to make. So let's see how it works. Okay, the connections are ready. 
I am using initially 20 kilohertz frequency. So let's see the spark that we get. Okay, nothing impressive. Let's now reduce the frequency to 15 kilohertz. Each flyback has its own frequency of work and that is the advantage of using a module like this. You can select the frequency. The spark was a little bit more powerful. Let's now use 10 kilohertz. It seems that with less frequency we get more voltage since the spark is longer. Let's now try with 5 kilohertz. And finally, I'm using 2.5 kilohertz. Okay, there you have it. You can see that by varying the frequency, you can change the output voltage of the flyback. Hope you liked this video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.